I've been around a lot of different people with a lot of different faiths. Been around Christians, the real Christians, Buddhists. Who's ever around Buddhists, right? Uh, Muslims, Hindus, and some other ones. I don't remember the names. Uh, Mormons, right? Um, other cults, you know. And I got to be honest with you. I, I can't say that any one of those you know, people have ever come to me and given me some sort of off-colored remarks, offensive remarks, disrespectful remarks, never. Except, of course, the Jehovah Witnesses. Now, being that I was an unbaptized affiliate, I guess, you know, there was little things here and there over the years that I experienced. One being, you know, a young musician, an artist, you know, uh, in the genre of hip hop. Um, oh, you know, I got it, right? Even though I was unbaptized, it's like, yo, we gonna leave that rap music alone, man. You know, I want to see you in a new system. So they would smile, but it was under the guise of, I guess, loving me or wanting me to live you know, um, a lot of times I wish I can go back in time, like, you know, so I can have a smart remark, you know, but even at that age, I wouldn't have really had a smart remark. I just smiled, brushed it off. But as you get older, it becomes a little bit offensive, right? It becomes a little bit um, uh, disrespectful when you start saying, hey, man, when you... When you gonna cut that off, man? It's like when you gonna get rid of your pot belly. And I, I have nothing, I have nothing against pot bellies. I've had them over the years. I got a little one now. I got a little, little tiny little pouch right now. But when are you gonna get rid of that George Jefferson that you got going on? Why don't you cut it all off, right? When you gonna stop looking at other sisters with a lustful eye, right? While you sitting next to your wife, right? I see y'all. I see everything. I'm sitting in the back. Because unbaptized uh, sinners, you know, we don't like to be in a mix of things. So I would always sit in the back and I see everything that's going on. I'm sitting back there. I'm watching people, you know, brothers come. They, I know who had an argument with their wives, right? And it spilled over when they came into the kingdom hall. You know, the brother come in late. He put his tache down and He's leaning over, he's talking to his wife. He tried to put a smile on, right? Because they're incredible actors. It's like, you gotta be like, you have to have graduated from Juilliard to be in this, this organization. They are supreme actors, right? Thespians, you know, they smile. And I know that they're smiling, but they're saying some, you know, really, uh, uh, offensive words like why, why are we sitting here you know I don't like to sit over here you gonna put us way in the front like come on I can't find how you doing hey what's up brother how you doing good good don't ever don't ever sit us in the front like this got everybody watching our every move right I know Sean is back there watching this right now you know so they're good actors right and but they say very offensive things and I don't even think they realize it a lot of times they don't even know it's like cut this off how you gonna tell me to do that right why don't you stop wearing you know suits that is three times your size brother what about that you know what I mean because I could come back with it and I never understood like this whole thing this is something that God actually made for men primarily some some women have a problem with it, but mainly for men, right? To differentiate us against the other, the opposite sex, right? And you're saying, cut this off, right? Why not go further, you know? Cut your genitals off, cut your ear off, cut your nose off. Y'all can probably justify that, but it's crazy, right? But you deal with the disrespectful remarks. One of the ones that I know we all know is, Especially coming from family members. When you gonna get your life together? When you gonna get your life together? Like you just robbed TD Bank last week. 
you got to do a hundred years. You are sniffing coke and shooting heroin and all your kids got taken away from you. Get your life together. It's like, okay, let me see. Okay, I'm financially stable, you know, um, a decent job, you know, wife, kids, everybody's good. Uh, everybody's eating, roof over their head. And I serve God. Get my life together. My life is more together than most of y'all, right? And I ain't talking about me personally. I'm just generalizing. Um, but, you know, they love saying these things, right? These disrespectful remarks. I remember um, taking the trip with one of my brothers who's, uh, who's an elder, right? Biological brother. And everywhere we go, of course, he finds his way to a kingdom hall in that particular country or, you know, state. And this time we was in Cali and he found his way to a kingdom hall. And I'm pretty sure he gave notice that he was coming. So one of the uh, elders there was, I guess, trying to be funny, was corny, but, you know, try to be funny. He's like, oh, uh, let me guess which one is the elder. You know, I'm sitting there with a bed. I got all this hair like that. It's like, <laughs> you a goofball. That's what, that's what you are, right? I mean, I mean, guess, oh, I know it can't be you with all this going on. And you know the crazy thing? You got the apostles, you got people in the Bible that they look up to, that they revere as, you know, you know, they, they just, most people, most people, you know, they revere certain people in the Bible, Paul and, you know, the rest of them. Um, if these people came into the kingdom hall, you'll probably try to turn them away. Right? You're talking about some of them probably with beards down the head. You think they was bald face? You think they was clean shaven, all of them? Right? With a nice tapered side and a little Superman swoop? You know? No! These were people from the Middle East. Right? They had beards down the head, some of them. They had sandals on, robes. Some of them had turbans. Y'all would have got them right out. They have 20 of them try to walk into the kingdom hall and see the uproar that's going to happen. All right? It's like, oh, oh, we're getting, there's a protest going on. You know, stop them at the door. It's like, nah, I'm Peter. All right? You, you can read about me in that book that you're looking at. Right? So it, it, it's, it's crazy, you know? And, and because they, they, everything is based on, um, how well you lie, how well you act, you know, but very disrespectful remarks. You know, my father passed uh, not too long ago, uh, probably about two months ago, and we had a Zoom thing and my father was uh, a baptized witness. So I would probably say 90% of the people in this Zoom meeting uh, were all uh, JWs. And after the meeting, the Zoom meeting, I guess people went into different, I don't know what the hell you call it. You go into different little rooms with, you know, a certain amount of people. What do y'all call that, right? They do it at the King, the, the Kingdom Hall meetings too, right? You kind of like dip off and, and, and you get into a, a little cluster, uh, you know, I don't even know what you call it, but we did that and it was somebody in there and he said, okay, now, which, what's your relation to? I said, well, I'm the oldest son. Okay, okay. You uh, go to Kingdom Hall? Um, and I tried to be really nice about it. I was really nice. I said, nah, you know, like I wanted to say, you don't want to get into this right here, right now. You, you do not, please just leave it there, right? But he didn't. He said, you know, you know, when, when, when you coming back, you coming back? You know, because I said, yeah, no, I used to go. I was I was born into this thing, you know. When you're coming back, you know, um, and this is the disrespectful remark, right? You know, because I'm sure your dad would want to see you. I'm sure your dad would want to see you in paradise. You see how they can say things that are so offbeat, so off-colored, that if I saw you in person, I might 
slap your ear so hard that it starts ringing like you know what I mean and I'm not a violent person but I'm just saying like that's the right off the hills of 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 my father's death this is what you say you know it's crazy it's crazy you know and I'll leave it there you know um but it's 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 <laughs> It's, it's so crazy, the disrespectfulness that they don't even know that they're doing, you know, and they justify it by, no, I just, I, I got love for you. I got, you ain't got love for nobody. But, um, yeah, I'm going to the gym for the second time. And um, I'll speak to y'all soon, man. I appreciate the love, the support, the comments that all of y'all give. Um, I thank y'all for it, but... Y'all know how I end most of my videos. Um, the only thing I ask you to do is think, right? Please do the opposite of what that brother said or those many, many people in the Jehovah Witness organization, the offensive remarks that they have said over the years. Do the opposite of that, right? Think, because they obviously don't. Love.